Hey guys, in this video I am going to show the steps involved in adding field points to an existing controller using the CCP tool. You will need to either open a program which you have saved on your computer or you will need to upload it from your controller. The first thing I want to do is expand our work area out a bit. Now to add an input to an existing program it is quite simple to do. All you have to do is right click on the inputs option in the input field and then select new. You will then be given a pop-up window that gives you many options for the type of input that you're going to be using. You need to be familiar with the available points that is on your controller whether they're analog or binary just depending you need to know that before you add the points into the program. So you can simply type in part of the description for the particular input that you want to add and it will bring you closer to where you want to be. You will then simply highlight the number of inputs that you want and you can use the arrow up and once you have that selected you hit the OK button and it will create the input for you in the field. We currently do not have that link to any out to any uh, hardware points, but we will do that in a moment. To add an additional output point, it is uh, virtually the same process. You simply right click on the output field, select new, and then you can select the type of output you're going to be adding to your system, whether it is a binary, an analog, uh, you know, that sort of thing. It uh, is not difficult to do on adding these. Once uh, you get to this field, you know, you can scan down through to see the uh, specific type of output that you want. There are a lot of options uh, in this tool for adding the various types of outputs and you will simply need to select the one that you want. Once again, we're just going to set this up as an exhaust fan. We uh, grab a uh, contact for uh, starting an exhaust fan, and then what we will do is simply enter the number we want, press the OK button. You will notice our output here. You'll notice there is no little image beside either the input or the output, and that is because it is not currently linked to a hardware point. Next step is to click on the Define Hardware tab. It will bring us to this screen here. Then we click on the Point Assignment, and here are the points which we have added to the system. When we highlight one of these and then... Uh, press our arrow, it will then move that point over to the controller on the first available open points for that type of input or output. Once we do that, you can see that it populates it on the controller. Then we will simply, you know, if that's where we want to leave it at, that's what we will do. It can be drugged to different points. We will highlight our next point. We will hit the right arrow. It will then automatically populate it for us. And once we do that, we simply hit the close button on this particular screen. And that will get us back to the uh, configuration screen. You can see now we have these connected to hardware points. Uh, you'll save that program and then load it into your controller and make your connections. You also need to remember that you may have jumpers that need to be moved for this. But anyways, guys, I hope the video helps. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Also, drop me any comments and questions down below. And I really appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time, and stay tuned for more.